the revolution of the automobile is visible. The race for future mobility is underway. But it is not only electric engines that shape the car of tomorrow. Manufacturers will have to refine all engine types, especially in this time of high air pollution and too little range. The challenge is enormous. Since 2001, the automotive suppliers have almost doubled sales worldwide to just under 1 trillion euros a year. And the trend is rising. Freudenberg is a vital technology partner for the automobile industry. The company, with around 50,000 employees, is shaping this change with more research and more dialogue. For instance, with the new Mobility Media Day, a media event at which experts talk about ideas and successful examples. One of the masterminds behind the new mobility is Professor Xu. He shows how to make electric cars ready for production. I believe that a large proportion, even the majority of vehicles, will be different kinds of hybrid vehicles, plug-in hybrids in any case. But we will still need combustion engines, a downsized engine with even lower emission levels with an integrated electric engine so that in principle we can drive purely electrically in the cities. Experts and companies agree that innovation is initially necessary for all engines. Today's combustion engines must become cleaner and build a bridge to the future. That's the challenge. The learning curve has only just begun. We are making progress in various ways, but we have to continue to work on all learning curves. New mobility enhances a mix of mobility concepts and driving concepts, and we at Freudenberg take all these aspects very seriously. Together with our clients, we want to use our innovations to advance these learning curves and thus these technologies. While car manufacturers think of the big picture, in brands and markets, suppliers check the inner core of a vehicle. Every detail has to be right for every model variant. We are open to all technologies. In the long term, the fuel cell is just as important to us as the battery is today. But the existing combustion concepts won't disappear from this mix. They will have a different positioning, and we will also help to ensure that they continue to be trimmed to maximum efficiency. It is still a long way to go. So far, only about 1% of newly registered cars drive solely electrically. The air quality in the world's major cities is deteriorating. While politics is thinking about new laws, suppliers are working on technical solutions. Ultimately, innovation is the driving force to compete in global competition.